plowing. I'm on my last field here. We're just getting started this morning. I am, uh, I got a change of plow lay before I get going and I got some new ones that I got to strap onto this tractor because it's a little bit of a rocky field here. So we're probably gonna have to do some changing. But these are some plow lays here. They are directional. I broke one yesterday, broke off the tip. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's a little windy today. I did bring my drone out, but I don't know if I'll get to use it. As you can see, this one snapped right off. It's supposed to have this whole tip here. And rocks were a little hard on that one, so I'm gonna strap some new ones on there. We gotta change this one before we get going. And then we're back in the field. Well, this is our last field to plow this year. Uh, we're plowing up some hay ground, so it's pulling a little hard here. We're definitely on max power of the tractor. You can see that's power bar if any of you run John Deere. Or if you don't know, now you do. But it's pulling pretty hard. I had to slow down a bit just because of this. Um, but no, plowing's been doing, going pretty good, honestly. We had a little bit of a cold snap and it seems like every weekend it's trying to rain or snow or something. It doesn't amount to anything, but it gets really cold and it just, every weekend it seems like it's coming up. But this is our last field, so that's good to get this done. Um, we usually like to plow up hay ground because it's easier to rotate it out of hay and put something else in it if we plow it we still will have a lot of hay come back but we can spray for that later or we can cultivate it out or whatever but uh, running the plow through it gets a pretty dang good kill and we get rid of some of that compaction from having it in hay ground for 15 years or however long it's been in hay ground you can really tell when you hit that ridge line because uh, the whole tractor starts to bounce a little bit and it'll actually pull the plow out of the ground like it did just right there. And then it'll go back in. We're slowed clear down to two, two and a half. Trying to make sure we don't break nothing now. I guess you kind of know it's a really rocky field when there's a rock pile like a literal mountain of rocks over there I don't know if you can see it on the camera but that pile of rocks is at least I mean that's taller than a pickup over there so they've they've done some rock picking in this field they've done a good job but you never get them all
So you can see just how many, or just how chunky this is here. And a lot of that is just the compaction of the ground after it's been in hay for so long it'll come up chunky so we've got some compaction we're getting rid of but hay ground is so hard pulling not only because of the compaction but also because of these hay roots I mean that is a thick hay root you can see right where the plow lay is cutting them off But you got some thick ones that's cutting off too. Look at that. And that's as thick as my pinky. So it's very hard on plow lays. It takes a lot of, you end up changing them a lot. But look at how chunky that is. I mean, that's a whole slab that's flopping over. I like these new plow lays that I got today though. They're a lot thicker right here these ones are called deep suck they've got this uh, pointed tip on them and they're a little sketchy in the rocks which as I've said we've got plenty of rocks around here but they're a little sketchy in the rocks because it'll actually break that point off just like the one I showed you guys in the pickup earlier Aren't these IVT transmissions just the best? Leave it in the ground and get going. You just trying to do that with a power shift. Maybe the new John Deere power shifts would be fine, but like an old school tractor power shift where you'd have to put some power into it and pop the clutch. That'd be pretty hard. I sure do enjoy these tractors. Well, shoot, we're on broken plow lay number two. Whole corner is knocked out of this one. Yep. It was coming out of the ground a little bit, so we got some, we got some uh, damage here, but no real damage to the frog, just wearing down on it. But plow lay needs changed again. Look at these guys picking up some more rocks. Trying to clean up as many as they can while, cause it's gonna go back to hay after we rotate it out. So I'm sure he's trying to clean up his ridge line a little bit. Well, this is the first thing I've broken uh, that wasn't just a regular plow lay. This bolt right here that holds the end of the gauge wheel, this bolt broke. That's a big bolt. And uh, the only thing holding this gauge wheel on now is these two little bolts. So as you can see, I'm moving this whole, this whole system here is moving. So that is not good. Cause this actually hangs on to the gauge wheel there so um, we're gonna have to do something well this wasn't exactly what I had planned here but I think given where I'm at and what tools I've got I can't get this to loosen up it's broke inside right about here is where it snapped off so I think I'm just gonna take these two bolts off here Take the whole gauge wheel assembly with me to the shop and that way I can make sure to get that bolt out with all the tools I need and get it back up here. When you do 
something like this, you make sure to lift with your back. Really lean into it. Okay, dog, you're going to want to move. Could have been bad. Well, I've tried it the nice way with the electric impact and then the three quarter inch air impact. Now we're going up to the big incher. Uh, this bolt does not have any threads left. It's broke off. There's no threads. So it must be just rusted inside of here because there's like a bushing. That bolt goes through a bushing and the gauge wheel is actually on the bushing. So. I'm just trying to get the turn so it'll come out of there because it is stuck in there bad. Like it will not turn at all. So do not do what I'm about to do at home. Well, of course my camera died as we were putting this thing back together yesterday, so we didn't get to film any of that, but basically just had to get a new bolt and put it back together. It wasn't a big deal. The hardest part was getting that bolt out of there uh, because it was pretty well rusted in between the bolt and the bushing. And where the bolt had broken, it had actually bent the bolt just a little bit. So it was kind of a pain in the butt to get it out of that bushing. But once we got that done, it wasn't a big deal to put it back together. Uh, did run for a little bit longer yesterday, but didn't quite get her done. So we're finishing it up today and we've only got like five more acres. There's not much left here, but this is our last field to plow. So this thing's rattling. Uh, this is our last field to plow. So it's kind of nice I, I enjoy plowing but it's time to move on it's time to do the next steps so uh but no overall plowing went good this year we haven't had we didn't have any major breakdowns the worst one was that bolt yesterday other than that it was just wear parts on plow lays pretty much so that's a good that's a good thing uh We've got other stuff going on right now with everybody else running, so I'm going to, tomorrow, I'm probably going to end up putting tanks on the 8370, and we're going to get it ready to start strip tilling as well, so we might end up filming some of that too, I'm not sure yet, but thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button and come back for the next video. I'm going to try and keep you guys up to date and I'm going to keep myself moving, I hope. So thank you. We'll see you next time.